Hello, my name is Karina and this is my perfume map. Today I wanted to talk about fruity fragrances that have some depth to them. So sometimes when you smell a berry fragrance or a very fruity fragrance, it just smells light and fruity and very youthful and very, very fresh. But the ones I picked out today have something in them in the base, like maybe it's patchouli or maybe it's a woody note, something that kind of rounds it out and makes it not quite as fresh, but still very fruity. I also, before I start with those, I just wanted to show you something I picked up yesterday because it's out there and I think it's a pretty good deal. So that fragrance that I wanted to show you that I picked up yesterday at Marshall's is Laura Mercier Vanille EDT. And I paid $24.99 for this. And the reason why I picked it up, even though I'm not usually in the market for a vanilla fragrance exactly, um, I do like vanilla, was because when I searched online, it seemed like uh, it was going for at least double that, and in a lot of cases, triple that online. I also think this has been replaced by an EDP. So um, I bought it yesterday um, at... Marshalls. I live in like the largest city in my state, but I actually went out to the Burbs because we were doing some other shopping and the Marshalls and the Burbs around me are, are better than the ones here in the city. I have a Marshalls that I could walk to, but that Marshalls locks everything up like in a case and then the, everything they have out, it's just like that dupe stuff, like uh, Milestone, is that what it's called? I think it is. Like they had a Baccarat Rouge dupe called Bogart Rouge, which I thought was really funny. And then, you know, just a lot of um, fragrances that aren't that interesting. But when I go to Marshall's or Burlington or TJ Maxx, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for a fragrance that usually retails much higher and they just happen to have it. But anyway, so today is what? The... Uh, the 14th, I think, is that right? Yeah, I think today's the 14th of April. And I just saw it at Marshall's, I just picked it up yesterday. Anyway, this is a kind of a vanilla orchid fragrance. It's not so much um, a vanilla gourmand. So what I mean by vanilla gourmand would be something that smells like a vanilla yellow cake or vanilla frosting or something like that. There's also like Play-Doh vanillas. This isn't like that. This has more of a floral vanilla scent and that's my favorite kind of vanilla. But on the back of the box, it says, uh, Van Vanille begins with a sophisticated blend of musk topped with sweet caramel and warm sandalwood. Exotic amber fuses with sensual vanilla creating a trail of aromatic decadence. This unique composition can be worn alone or layered over your favorite bath and body luxuries to create new scent experiences. This is great. Um, I wondered if it was very similar to warm vanilla sugar because warm vanilla sugar gives me that same feeling of more of a vanilla orchid, not really um, a gourmand vanilla. And this has intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood. And this is really similar. This is sweeter and not as potent and not as rich smelling as this Laura Mercier. This almost has like a salty note and this has a very deep, rich vanilla um, fragrance. And I can really smell the jasmine in warm vanilla sugar, particularly that Bath and Body Works jasmine that's very, very sweet. I love warm vanilla sugar, but I, I don't think like this cancels that out. I think that they complement each other. Um, I, I'd probably wear these together, but this Laura Mercier is pretty good. All right, now we'll talk more about fruity fragrances. Um, I have been wearing Jessica Simpson Fancy Forever. I bought this maybe a month ago, maybe, maybe more, maybe longer. Um, I'm sure I bought it on eBay. It was under $30. I think it was right around $20. And this fragrance 
has lychee, um, apricot, it has rose, it has um, blackberry, and tonka bean. So tonka bean is what really makes this like a deeper fragrance. This is really, really nice. I have had really good luck with Jessica Simpson fragrances. Fancy took me a minute to come around to, but this one I liked right away. And I think it's that lychee tonka bean. That's very unique to me. Um, it's very, very fresh, but that tonka bean makes it smell so uh, like rich and earthy. You know, tonka bean can actually have kind of a mealy smell to it. It's like a mealy smelling vanilla. But this ha opens with a note that's a little bit green and sometimes tonka bean can smell a little bit green. And it has, a, there's a greenness to the blackberry, which is very similar to another fragrance I'm going to talk about, amethyst. But this is really nice. And I think it's great, especially for when you don't want to smell like too fresh yet. Like here in the Midwest, you know, a very nice day right now would be right at 70 degrees. We're still experiencing rain and overcast days and, you know, chilly days. Like I went out yesterday and I still wore like a hoodie. Beautiful. Have you tried Jessica Simpson fragrances? I have fancy fancy nights and fancy forever and I'm looking to get more because I really like them and the next one I want to talk about that this kind of reminds me of well I think oh they also both have pear is chasing fireflies and I have been really enjoying this one this has pear jasmine and illuminated woods so again you get like some fruity notes and some florals but it's deepened by this woody note. So it's not completely fresh. It's very um, cool weather appropriate. Maybe not, You maybe you wouldn't want to wear it in the hottest weather. I think like spring and fall, this is perfect. But still, there you can definitely pick up the pair. And people compare, compare, huh? Um, they compare this one to Dahlia, saying that they might be dupes of each other. Dahlia is even richer. Dahlia has Velvet Dahlia Petals, which I think is kind of a fantasy note. Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. So again, that Tonka Bean really just makes fruit fragrances like so much more earthy and so it gives it such a grown up, um, it just makes it more grown up. People compare this to Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. I have smelled that in the store and I remember thinking like I liked it more than I thought I would, but I can't say if it's like a dupe, if Dolly is a dupe, cause I just don't, I don't have that much of a memory of it. But I just think uh, fruit and tonka is so nice. I like fruit and tonka. I like fruit and woods. I like fruit and patchouli. Have you tried Dahlia? That's like a pretty big hit with Bath and Body Works, I think. And then the next one I have is Amethyst Lilique, which is, I mean, so many people love this fragrance. And again, this is one when I first got it, I thought it was too like um, body wash. And it does have kind of a note that reminds me of slime. Like if you've ever made homemade slime with your kids, it kind of smells like slime, even store-bought slime has that smell like a like a weird I don't know it's just slime I can't I can't really describe it you would know it if you smelled slime like this the smell you get on your hands when you play with slime it is in there which is really a weird note but I've gotten totally used to it so it doesn't bother me at all and I know how nicely this fragrance wears and what I really get from this one is a blackberry smell and this has blackberry and mulberry and blueberry and strawberry and peony and i think musk and woods in the base this is so awesome this is like the ultimate berry fragrance for me and i'm coming from a place where like i did not like berry fragrances back in the day in fact i would have told you even you know a year or two ago that i like 
amber florals, floral aldehydes, and aquatics, period. Like I'm not looking for um, gourmands. I'm not looking for berry. I always thought berry fragrances had like a chewed gum smell. Like they just didn't smell like super fresh to me. They always smelled a little bit sour. I don't know what changed with me, but I don't get that anymore. I'm also not super opposed to tart or sour. Um, I kind of enjoy it. So, I mean, I, I know a lot of people have talked about this fragrance. I'm just going to be like another person that recommends it. I think it's kind of hard to, to, to do anything but blind buy it, but it is under $30. It still is. And I love it. It's always a good choice. And I thought I would bring out butterfly is just kind of the opposite of what I'm talking about. I love butterfly, but this is raspberry nectar, iris petals, and vanilla. This is like a fruity that's just super fruity and sweet. There's nothing really giving this like a whole lot of depth, even though this is really good. So if you smelled butterfly, you would know what I mean by just like fruity without depth. But but amethyst lalique, it has like those woody, musky base notes that really rounds it out. Even though they're both great fragrances, um, you know, that's what the difference is. And the last one I'm going to show you is, um, this is now an empty bottle of Mon Paris. This was a 7.5, um, travel or sample size. I don't know. I got it when I bought, um, a lot of fragrances from the Goodwill outlet. I showed this, um, this had a full 10 mil of Libra and a full, um, 7.5 of Mon Perry and the black opium was missing. And I like um, Mon Perry. I tried it right away. And then I decided to, this was a dabber and it's one of those dabbers where you like you, you kind of tipped it over and then see how that's hollow. And then you kind of put it on your skin and it um, kind of just dribbles. I don't know. I, I just decided I had these, these are 10 mil, um, amber bottles. I actually bought these on Timu. I got 10 of them for a dollar 75. See the, maybe you can see the code and then you can find these. And, um, I don't know how anybody feels about Timu, but these are nice. Like, um, people are always saying like, look at the atomizer, but this has a really nice atomizer. See, I mean, nicer than what I get from Scentbird, you know, Okay, so this fragrance has strawberry and raspberry, and it's extremely sweet. It reminds me of something that I had as a kid, and I mean like elementary school. I don't know if it was a, I feel like it was a scratch and sniff sticker, like a blackberry scratch and sniff sticker. This fragrance, if I was um, 20 years old, I think this would have been, I would have thought this was the most beautiful fragrance ever because I really liked raspberry notes when I was a lot younger. This to me, I have to say like it smells, um, too young for me, not because I think that you should wear certain fragrances when you get to a certain age, but just that this does not have any rough edges. That said, this is very, very well made. Like this fragrance smells like a perfect, um, it smells like you're smelling a perfect fruit bubble. Like the patchouli and the wood perfectly round out those berry notes, those super syrupy fruity notes are perfectly complemented by a patchouli and wood. Like it just smells perfect. Like. You can imagine that the perfumers worked and worked on this fragrance until they got it exactly smooth. All the edges are smoothed out and it's perfect and sweet. The fragrance lasts, you know, maybe two or three hours and then you just get kind of a faint woody sweet smell, I will say. I am enjoying this sample. I will definitely finish it, but this I, this would never be on like my list because I like my fragrances to be a little bit rough around the edges. I like my fragrances to smell 
like I'm I've been around the block a few times and like I'm still the one like I like my fragrances to be a little bit challenging a little bit different and this is actually just too sweet and feminine and just really really youthful I think if you this would be a perfect perfume um like a first perfume for somebody a first like fancy perfume and that's uh, Mon Paris by YSL. Have you tried that? Do you agree? Do you think I'm being ageist? I really don't want to be. Um, that is it for my perfume chat today. I hope you're having a good Saturday. If you go shopping, you know, and check out Marshall, see if they've got some Laura Mercier for 25 bucks. I think that's a good deal. And I'll talk to you soon.